Welcome back for another video today. We're going to be talking about CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young. Who's going to be better long term? Okay, let's get right on into it. These are two of the best quarterbacks in college football over the last decade. All right, you think about the accolades that these guys have. Now, college football has a bunch of different trophies, so I'm not going to sit here and list them all. But we're talking about Bryce Young, who won a Heisman, was finalist for Heisman. CJ Stroud, also finalist for Heisman. Other accolades in there. There are national championships, have playoff appearances. Both of these guys, very prominent players coming out of their respective colleges. Or when you look at it, overall, Bryce Young has a better resume. You know, again, because of the Heisman, because of the national championship, he overall has the better resume. But you look at Bryce Young, he probably also has the better team around him at Alabama and Ohio State's a powerhouse. They're in the playoff every year, but Alabama's Alabama, and they have Nick Saban as the coach, the better team around him. Um, including some elite level wide receivers, some really good NFL wide receivers uh, that were there at Alabama. And when you look at that same thing, and for CJ Stroud, you know he won a bunch of awards, um, including being a Heisman Award finalist. Never won the Heisman, never won a national championship, but he had, I mean, elite NFL wide receivers coming out of Ohio State. A couple of the guys that have come out of Ohio State are very very good in the NFL and C.J. Stroud had them. So when you look at the stats for each of these guys in college, like they're both going to have really impressive stats because they're both really good quarterbacks and they both had elite NFL wide receivers to throw the ball to. Okay. So by now we've all heard everything about all these guys college. So you move on from that. You go to the NFL, where are these guys landing? Well, Bryce Young is in Carolina. The owner of the Carolina Panthers is David Tepper and David Tepper, since he bought the team has shown that he is perfectly fine with spending money to win. Now, being a quarterback in that situation, especially a quarterback on a rookie contract, that's a great situation to be in. They spent a lot of money this offseason pretty much rebuilding the entire offense. So as long as they have that going on, and David Tepper keeps spending the money and they're fine with spending the win, Bryce Young is going to continue to find himself in a good situation there in Carolina. Then you look on to Houston, the McKay family, which owns the Houston Texans, they're generally a pretty conservative bunch over there. Even when they had Deshaun Watson, they didn't really go out of their way to, to build some sort of super team. You know what I mean? They did a good job in drafting, you know, Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, J.J. Watt. Those were all in-house guys, but they even let DeAndre Hopkins go instead of re-signing him. And that kind of spiraled everything into where the Texans ended up. So unless they you know, become more aggressive and their mindset becomes more aggressive, which trickles down to the rest of the organization becoming more aggressive, then I the cap on what CJ Stroud is going to be able to do in Houston is always going to be there. Like he the ceiling isn't going to be as high as what Carolina is doing because Carolina with David Tepper is fine with going all out to win. Now, I think something that could factor in to the McKay family becoming more aggressive is the addition of D'Amico Ryans. I think the addition of him into the organization could push ownership and the front office into saying, okay, we have a stud coach, young coach. We want to keep this guy here in-house, keep him to build this organization up. And so maybe they get more aggressive and they try – to be more aggressive with him, especially while Stroud is on his rookie contract. After he re-signs, you know, assuming Houston is able to re-sign him along the lines, if you're going to keep him and you're going to keep trying to win with an elite quarterback and a really good coach, then you would want to be more aggressive. And that could be the route that they go in the future because I think D'Amico Ryans has that kind of presence about him. You know, you want to – he's going to push everybody to be their best selves. And I think – that's going to trickle up to the ownership. Okay, now on the other side of that, in Bryce Young's situation, Frank Reich has experienced it all as a player and as a coach. All the highs, all the lows, everything in between. Frank Reich has experienced it all. He's put together a great coaching staff in Carolina, and he rebuilt the offense to fit his vision during this offseason. You know, I already mentioned the Panthers spent a bunch of money to rebuild that offense. You know, they they built it in whatever style Frank Reich wants it to be. He's going to be the one calling the plays. It's going to be – these are all his players. So everything we see is going to be pretty much on Frank Reich and what he wanted. Now, again, this is year one. A lot of it was through the draft and free agency, so it's a lot of makeshift pieces, but he got his quarterback. And if he thinks Bryce Young's a guy, and he drafted, moved up 
to draft him at number one. Then, then they think a lot of him, and they think that he's the guy to propel them into the future. So taking everything into account, I think initially Bryce Young should have more success. Like, that's to be expected. I expect him to have more success early on because of the situation that each of these guys find themselves in. But overall, I think Stroud has a higher ceiling. And whether it's in Houston or somewhere else, I think Stroud will ultimately have the better career. You know, Bryce Young, I think Bryce Young mentally, I think he, mentally and physically, like he he has the talent. But I think... And this is going to sound super generic because it's the only argument against them, but it's going to be injuries. And I get that that's cheap and and guys have done it, but like Darren Sproles, you could look at Darren Sproles and say, oh, well, he did it. I just don't think with a quarterback, as much as quarterbacks get hit, I don't think long-term Bryce Young is going to be able to hold up. I think durability is going to be an issue. And I think C.J. Stroud, like he's overly big, but he he's 6'2". North of 200 pounds, he's big enough to be able to handle. And I, I think over time, Bryce Young, the hits are going to take their toll. And again, long term, this, we're sitting here talking long term. This whole video is who's better long term because of what I think will happen to Bryce Young long term. I think CJ Stroud will have a better career long term. But look, we're talking about Ohio State and Alabama quarterbacks. So there's a real good chance both these guys end up being bust in the NFL. You know, time will tell. OK, but you let me know. What do you think? Who do you think is going to have a better career long term? You let me know down in the comments and let's talk about it. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back for more offseason content. We'll see you for the next video.